us right. The internet <laughs> never forgets. Never. And that's why oh, everybody had jokes last night and everybody yeah. had jokes yeah. today about the Brooklyn Nets. But listen, man, in fairness, because we are nothing yeah. if not fair here, brother from another, if we go keep yeah. receipts, then there's a lot Keeping of people receipts. that need to be eating their words today. There's a lot of people that need to be eating crow today because a lot of people fell for the hype. A lot of people fell for the okie doke and I'm looking at one of them right now. I mean, Michael, look, once the series started, and even before the series started, once the matchups were set, you called it. You said Boston was simply better, and that played out over four yeah. games. But okay. I will remind you, and I'll eat my crow in a second, but I will remind you that not that long ago, you were using the F word as it relates to the Brooklyn Nets. You were using the F the, word. What word? You were saying that team. The F word. Oh, fear. scared. Oh, scared. You scared. Say, oh, fear. Oh, fear. Oh, F. Fear. F. You, you were saying F. F. Oh, F word. F. Yeah, F. I thought you F. said it. I thought you said it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I you, said it. you were saying that teams okay. should be fearing the yeah. talent yeah. at the top of the, the Brooklyn talent. Nets roster. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know a lot you know of people, what? a lot of people identify them as that proverbial team that nobody wanted to play. Even me last as as of as recently as yesterday, I was like, oh, they ain't gonna get swept at the crib. They're not gonna get they'll at least avoid a sweep. You know, they'll win it, they'll get a game. And now they go down as the first team since at least 1985, Michael Holly, to be the preseason favorite to win it all, and not so much as win a game. Man. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh they got to be some regrets, right? Some regrets, Mike. Uh, and Katie's saying, you know, just looking forward. That's all. That's what you're supposed to say. You got to have some regrets when you expect it to be a championship team. What was the first time since what year? You said 1985. Fre Freddie Gibbs. Shout out Freddie Gibbs. Anyway, I just, <laughs> I just, I just wanted to say that. Um, look, Mike. Um, uh, let, let me go back. Let me go back to something you said off the top. You said just a few weeks ago, I used the F word, which is fear, the Brooklyn Nets. And I, rightfully so. What? Okay, I got part of it right, and a part of it I just didn't put together until it was too late. You should fear the talent of the Brooklyn Nets. You should fear what Kevin Durant can do to you. You should fear what Kyrie Irving can do to you and even some uh, like margin like the, the role players. I call them that role players like Bruce Brown and even Seth Curry to a degree. You should fear what those guys can do to you. The problem with the Brooklyn Nets is that they were not fused together. It's not a team. It is a it's a good. It's a good group mm -hmm. on paper. But it's not they don't play as a team and and it's easy to say I think it's part of the reason part of the reason I can say is their head coach, but I think it may be deeper than that. Maybe it's just a lack of buy in from one of their top two players Kyrie Irving. Now he tells you now he tells you that he felt like he was letting the team down. But when he was asked that during the regular season, he said, oh, bro, bro, bro. Come on, bro. It's bigger than basketball. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. No, I'm not. I'm doing what's best for me. No, now we get the truth that yes, it was a distraction. Yes, you did let the team down and look, you made your personal decision, but there are consequences to that decision. And the consequence is the Brooklyn Nets underperformed. Even though the Celtics are better, they underperformed because they were not a but how, together basketball but wait, team. But wait, but wait a second. See, this, this is what I struggle with and I know that you know, this is gang up on Shelby day. I know this is the day to talk about how, the, the, the failures that are that are the Brooklyn Nets. I get it. Okay. I love and, I, and I'm story. not trying to I'm that. not I'm not trying to give them a pass. I'm not trying to right. I, I get it. Okay. It's Kyrie It's KD. They're, they're a super team. I, you know, preseason favorites even as recently as February as recently as February. They were still the betting favorites. This is after trading James Harden. And like I said yesterday, I get that when people don't do what we expect them to do. It's their fault not the fault of the expectations. We didn't get it wrong, but I, I don't think you can when it comes to the, the pie. Think of a pie chart. The pie I that got is I got it. Th this first round series. The more okay. blame we put 
at the feet of Brooklyn, the less credit we're giving Boston. It's not like it was a sweep and Boston's better, but it's not like it was like they outclassed them. The difference was 18 points over the course of four games. 18 points. There were team points. That's yeah, right. they were they were in, so, in, in game so, one and two in particular. So not last night, the Nets were right there. Go ahead. So I'm not taking I'm not taking credit away from Boston then. What I, what I no, said but was, you are. I, I, no, no, no I, I, well, we Brooklyn, are. We are. If we're if Brooklyn, we're saying Brooklyn underperformed. Brooklyn underperformed. That, so okay, what should so they have saying, done? So what should they have done? They should have won this series. It should have gone seven. Don't get swept. Okay, but won a game. A team like okay, but won a game. But whether well, even a couple if they were lost in the first round, that's the extreme. Okay, it wasn't the classic series that we thought it would be. After that first game, people like me, I was like, oh, I can't call it. I don't know who gonna win this. It was right, supposed right. to go seven. It's supposed to be the best first round series of all time. Okay, whatever. We're got, this was a championship or bust roster for them. And what I'm saying is, yes, it was for a four old sweep, but it was closer than that. Those 18 yeah, points yeah, that okay. we just referenced. Yeah. So I guess, to I guess say that they close, underperformed close. suggests history don't, that history the won't Nets, remember that history won't remember. No, it won't. It was but I guess what I'm saying that. is, and this is this is extremely nuanced. But to, to suggest that they underperform, to say that they underperform suggests that they should have won two, three games, or even the series. And to me, that takes Just away from zero. how good Boston is. Zero. Sure. Okay. Fine. More than but either zero. way, it would have been a disappointment. Don't get but swept. But it would have been a disappointment. This is an extreme. The sweep was right. an extreme, okay. but it would have been a disappointment right. given their level of talent. All I'm saying is when you when you blame Brooklyn for what Brooklyn didn't do, you're taking away right. credit. That's just how it works. It's math. You're taking away okay. credit from how good Boston is and Boston right, may be the beast of the East. Boston may be yes. the best team in the Eastern Conference. They've been the best team in the NBA since, since 2022. Two. They're That's 30 right. and six in their last 36 games. Tell me about so I, I just don't want to lose sight of how good Boston is in this Boston conversation is, Boston, about how how underachieving Brooklyn is. That's all. Boston Boston uh, is is a tremendous basketball team with maybe one. And now this is amazing. Think about this with maybe one defensive liability in the top eight. Not, I mean that that's just staggering. Like all their guys, you know, Marcus Smart was defensive player of the year, but. If Robert Williams III uh, had stayed healthy, he would have been in that conversation too. Al Horford can defend, Jalen Brown, uh, right. obviously Jason Tatum, right. go to the bench, Derek White can, can, can lock you down, Daniel Tice is a good defender, and then you get to Peyton Grant Pritchard, Williams. ah, not so much. Grant, Grant Williams, Williams is another though. one. I mean, it, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, Grant Williams, very good. Grant Williams did a great job on Kevin Durant too, uh, annoyed him, you know, up in his face, constantly, constantly had the hands up to avoid the foul, but just a big burly presence that kind of shook uh, Durant slightly off the spot. Boston is a great team. I think the series between Boston and Milwaukee will be the series of the playoffs. I really think, I really that's, believe that. That's gonna be fascinating. But, so all that being said, I can't imagine Kevin Durant's team, but just forget about Brooklyn for a second. Let's start, let's, let's, let's park on Kevin Durant's curve. Kevin okay. Durant's yeah. team. Kevin you got Durant's team. plenty of time talking about Boston. <laughs> They still he got yeah. swept. First Kevin time in his career. Kevin Durant's team got swept out of the playoffs. That's amazing to me. It's like Kevin Durant with three dudes from NBCU and then add one <laughs> from the corner. That team is going to be all right in the playoffs. And they yeah, weren't. One would think. And he, right. And and, right. and he wasn't. He even said it. Uh, after game three that he was overthinking. He was just overthinking it in game three. We had 16 points and some people you know how hey, you lived here for a long time. You know how we do in Boston. You know game one a lot of respect for Kevin Durant. Oh, hey, you know, you know, Kevin Durant's not gonna have a game like that in game two game two the Celtics win. Ooh, what's, <laughs> yeah. du what's Durant gonna do in Brooklyn game three brother has 16 points. Oh, he quit Kevin Durant quit. No, shots. he did. I know what, what, what but it's not yeah. just Boston though. <laughs> It's nationally and you know what K KG had oh, he, time quit today, so he decided to, he decided to clap back at the idea that he was just along for the ride in Golden State Come when he was on, a two time finals MVP <laughs> like I mean listen man look, look if you're the best player in the world. No, it's not a good look to get swept if you arguably the best player in the world. That's just Giannis. We both agree that's Giannis, but man, you can't sit up here and, and act like Katie just some dude. 
who who who, right. who was a role player on Golden State when he was the when he was the fi two time Finals MVP. Yeah. Come on now, let, yeah. let's not get carried away with this thing, okay? Boston made him look normal. Boston had his number, okay? He was in his own head. He was self checked to a certain extent, but I don't think this yeah. is some kind of ding on Kevin Durant's legacy. That this is some kind of referendum on Kevin Durant. Hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.